Today, one in 95 people are forcibly displaced. 1% of humanity. And the numbers are rising. We have to wake up to the trap we are on globally, with so many conflicts raging and the very real possibility that climate change will force tens if not hundreds of millions of people to have to leave their homes in the future, with no possibility of return. The truth is, we are not doing half of what we could and should to find solutions to enable refugees to return home or to support host countries like Burkina Faso. The situation in Burkina Faso has become such a challenge for refugees uh, because until about 2018, we did not have the level of insecurity we're seeing here in Burkina. In fact, it had, it, 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 it's the first time. So it's becoming increasingly challenging for the refugees because they live in, in uh, areas where insecurity is, is close. On a assisté, on est resté avec peur, on a trop peur. Comme ceux qui on a quitté à NDC à Mali, là, ça arrivait à Burkina. Ce n'est pas faute de Burkina. Ça, c'est toute l'Afrique. Le jour, elle n'est pas un coin, elle n'est plus de problème. Le problème, là, c'est couvre toute l'Afrique. Si on dit Burkina, on dit Mali, on dit Niger, on dit Niger, on dit Côte d'Ivoire. Avec tout le monde, on a merci.